Hi Helen, so the first recording has worked. Um, so now we're going to move on to the second part, which is basically showing you how to update your scroll bar, uh, or slideshow advertiser. So basically we go back into your admin section, and on your left hand side we're going to go down to watercolor, and hit the wee arrow to show all the settings below, and we're going to go into slideshow. Now, I've actually been trying to make videos earlier on today, and uh, that's why it's showing four. So I'm just making a wee, just ignore that update. So basically, at the moment, your site's set up to have three slideshows. Okay. Now your slideshows. Um, I just let my website load properly. Your slideshows can be moved by clicking the circles or by using the left or right buttons. Uh, at present, none of these images takes the person to any page. Um, but we can add a link to each image. Uh, you've asked before about the writing here. These, uh, this writing is completely part of that image, um, and uh, you can't edit that. That's just the way that image was made by Chris. Um, what I would say is, uh, if you're, uh, whenever you basically you can do that, edit that whenever you're making your own images to put on your sidebar. Um, right. So we're gonna. First of all, I'm going to add a fourth. You can have as many images here as you want, or as little as you want. If you only want one, you can have one. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to set this to four, and we're going to add a new image to this and a link to it. Okay, so we go back to your admin section, uh, back into the left side, down to watercolors and slideshow. So here you will see all the information of how the slideshow works. Uh, let me just check this is recording. Yep. Um, okay, so the number of slides, I'm going to change that to four and hit update. Okay, so you can see that below now there's another section here for me to add another image and another link if I want to. At the moment, you see that uh, only the first image has a link, uh, second image doesn't have a link, and third image doesn't have a link. So, first of all, if we want to add the image, all, like I said earlier, all your images are uploaded onto your site to your media library. So to see your images, we're going, I'm going to take you away here now temporarily to media and library on your left hand side. And this is where you see all the images that's currently on your website. Now I've uploaded some images here for this test. Um, basically if you're going to upload an image here you would click on add new, uh, browse and then you would select the image and hit open and then hit the upload button and then that would take 20 seconds and it would bring you back to this page and show you your most recent uploaded image. So that image is uploaded. I'm going to click the edit button for the image that you've just uploaded. And the file URL is what I'm interested in here, right? Because every image has an address on your website. And we need that address for to enter into the slideshow slideshow settings. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've highlighted all the information. I'm going to right click with my mouse and say copy. That's all I need now. So I'm going to go back down on my left hand side to watercolor slideshow. And I'm going to go to image 4, which currently does not have an image URL, which is basically the address. And I'm going to right click paste. So now that's showing me the complete link of where that image is. And if I say update options, and I go back to my site, I should see four circles. And the last circle, the fourth one, should be a big red sign. So we see there's one, two, three, and the fourth one is there. Okay. So what we want now is whenever people see this one that we want it to take to a page. So I'm just going to select any random page here. So I want it that it'll take you to our team page. So I have to get the link to this page. So again, I go up to the top section, right click, copy, go back to my slideshow in my admin section, and below the image where I put the image in here and below it here where the link URL is I'm going to paste in the link to that page so update options so basically I've assigned that whenever someone sees the fourth image and hovers over er, and, cl and then clicks on that image it takes them to that page so if I just click here it should take me to our team page okay so <clears throat> simple as that that's how it's done um, Again, if you wanted to change that image, the first image, you simply delete it, copy, just select it and delete and paste in the address of the image that you wanted to show. Uh, I'm going to take off that link, 
because I don't want any links here. Um, now what I'm going to show you here now is the importance of having, when you're making these images in Photoshop or whatever um, uh, software you may use, it's important to have the image made at the correct size. All of the images in the slideshow are 960 pixels by 300 pixels. Okay, So whenever you're creating your logo or your image to go in here in Photoshop for instance, which I, I'm going to use here, you're going to go in and say uh, file new uh, 960 pixels wide, 300 pixels high, OK. And that's where you're going to put in your colors or your images, etc, etc. And then you're going to upload that to your site, get the address, paste it in and hit update. Now, I have actually uploaded an image here which is not 900 pixels wide. This image is only 800 pixels wide. Apologies here for this phone call. Um, just let that ring out. Okay, so it's 800 pixels by 300. So I'm going to get the address of it, copy it, go back to slideshow, and I'm going to paste it into the fourth section and show you what happens. Now, it has been made 800 pixels wide, but it needs to be 960 pixels wide. So when I refresh this here, and we'll go to it, you'll see that it shows the image in the size that it's made in. So when I go to 1, 2, 3, and 4, you see there's the image, but it's not going the full way across simply because the image is not the right size. So it will show it but it won't stretch it. So it's very important whenever you make the images to keep the, the good luck of the site that you make the images 960 pixels wide by 300 high. Um, I'm going to go in here now and remove this. We don't want an empty one on it. And I'm going to set it to three slides and hit update options. And when we go back to your main site now, that should be it. Uh, we have our three options. Okay, so have a play around with that. Hopefully this has been a big help to you, and if you have any further problems, just give me a shout. Thank you.